Hi folks, I'm near the small town of Song in Borneo. And this stuff here looks like something that could be a wild santol. But my internet is not working in this remote little town, so I have no idea. I'm here at the Kapaivas River, that's a tributary to the Rajang. And while I was going upriver about 300 kilometers up the Rajang, and by now I've already returned 200 kilometers, I saw a number of fruit species which I didn't see everywhere in the jungle. They seem to be growing only along the banks of the bigger rivers. I didn't see them also along the small rivers here. This is one of them. I hope you can see the yellowish fruit. They are everywhere, but they are pretty hard to see. They are medium-sized tree. And they seem to grow only along the river banks and only at the rivers which are big enough that uh, there is no canopy above them. Actually even bigger than that because some small rivers which had no canopy above them I did not see this. Another plant which was pretty common along the big rivers is some species of Vilukbaya. Uh, I'm quite surprised that I didn't see it on any market. We look by a very tasty fruit and here you can pick them from the boat. But this one was more common all along the big rivers. And here along the Kapaivas river there is a small footpath. So I'm using this to look for those special riverside fruit I've been seeing for days from the ship and I could never reach. So this is the tree. I managed to get down a branch. Those are the leaves, tripinate. This is the bark from nearby. But what we're interested in are the fruit, right? I opened the smallish one and it looks like a dry yet not very well developed santol fruit. Yeah. Even tastes similar to the Santo. Look at the outside. Hmm. Looks like the Santo looks like it's supposed to open into one, two, three, four, five pieces. Yeah. Looks also a lot like the Duku on the markets, but it's definitely not a Duku or anything close to a Duku. Let's open this pig fruit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a disappointment. The big fruit is rotten. Well, we've got a couple other options. Let's try this one. Mm, pretty hard. Could be unripe. Mm. Well, this tastes like a low quality santol, but those fruit are small and probably not really ripe. Look. It looks like a santol on the inside. I didn't see much santol around here. In central Kalimantan they were cultivating it everywhere, but not here. Hmm. Well, good news is it is edible. Imagine a not quite ripe and more or less tasteless santol with a trace of sweetness and sourness. That's what those are. Yeah, the only nice big fruit, nothing. Hmm. Well, I should be able to find out if this is a relative of the Santol. If I can put a name on it, I'll upload the video. So folks, stay tuned for more fruit videos from the jungles and river sites of Bordeaux. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.